Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design our simple chas power chassis box in SOLIDWORKS. The first part we already created in our previous tutorial. So here I will just make second part this upper parts. This lower parts we already did in our previous tutorial. So I am not going to do again. We will do this first one uh, second part and we will assemble in sheet metal. I hope you like it. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. hi guys i'll tell you the one thing this first part we already created in our previous tutorial if you'll go nine months before i created this simple chassis now i want to complete this chassis so that's why i'll not i'll take this chassis as a first part and uh, the second part we will make it and we will do the assembly of power box chassis so here i'll do some little modification like uh, this one I'll uh, I, I'll give the description I'll give the link uh, below the description it, you can just check the description you will find the link for this video so just select this part and uh, click this one edit now if you will go to edit you can see it's coming outside if you'll go down and here you will choose the flange position you will check here bend outside we want to keep bend inside material inside even if we have another option material outside that's also not bad but uh, we will try to keep material inside because the cover will going to cover this one select ok that's it now see the material comes inside and you can see the mirror view also this is the mirror view it is also comes inside let's save this chassis now let's make the upper part now here let's start to make the second part of the power box chassis so let's choose here right plane sketch select the line draw a C shape design exit now I'll select these two vertical lines and make relation equal now let's define this dimension according to our calculation 150.67 and keep the length 73.44 millimeter okay now just go to sheet metal or even if not there just click command manager and select from here select here base flange and keep the length 140 millimeter direction one let's make mid plane and here sheet metal parameter thickness 0.6 millimeter radius is up to you and thickness we want to keep outside you can see is inside so select here reverse direction and uh, k factor we will keep 0.5 millimeter because uh, it will be around 0.3 to 0.5 so we will not do any changes here okay now see select this face sketch normal now here we will make some venturi holes so select the circle let's draw here some holes hundred millimeter eighty millimeter sixty millimeter forty millimeter let's make one more hole inside and in right corner you can select uh, left corner you can select radius 10 millimeter now it's become 10 millimeter if you like to check this select the center point and origin point make relation vertical it's time to define some distance 75 millimeter that's fine okay 
choose here line and I'll draw a line like this again draw one more line make sure it is passes through center point exit select the line shift key center point coincident let's try draw a horizontal line make sure it is horizontal now let's define this the angle first keep 45 degree and now the relation between these two lines keep 90 degree that's it now here we will use venturi command so go to sheet metal choose venturi now first select the boundary so i'll choose this outer boundary face already selected ribs i'll choose one two and uh, four millimeter thickness spare let's choose the circles one two three four let's keep this also four millimeter that's it come up and here you will see radius geometry properties let's try two millimeter see it looks perfectly fine okay that's it undo select here a sketch we want to draw some more things here so I'll choose a big circle exit let's define the center seventy five millimeter okay and uh, select both the points vertical now it's time to define the dimension one hundred forty millimeter and this one one twenty millimeter that's fine choose here line connect one again choose the line connect two draw a center line angle 20 this one 50 okay choose your power trim and trim this one trim all the circles okay now here select circular pattern and pattern to entity select all the f all four parts and in parameters choose this point as a center we need four number of patterns equal spacing ok uh, we forget to delete this one that's why I choose power trim ok select here radius 2 millimeter and select the whole geometry see it's already selected even let's increase 3 millimeter 5 millimeter is bigger 4 millimeter select ok that's fine now go to sheet metal select here extruded cut and select here link to thickness that means it will cut up to only thickness okay that's it select this face a sketch normal let's make some hole here for cable 20 
ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर ओनली एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू बॉटम फोर्टी मिलीमीटर शीट मेटल सेलेक्ट एक्सूडेड कट कीप लिंक टू थिकनेस ओके दैट्स इट नाउ सेलेक्ट द फुल जोमेट्री गो टू अपियरेंस कार बॉडी पेंटेड ग्लोजी ब्लू ओके सेलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच हियर वी विल मेक सम लोगो सो लेट्स चूज हियर exit edit select this line and write here courser w750 choose center here use document font keep bold let's say 10 750 it comes here select okay now even you can drag it up to actually double click and uh, let's try to increase font little more 12 mm it's going outside so it's not feasible 11 mm select okay let's try to that's fine select okay go to feature A split line select this face okay now see let's select the face and uh, define some color like white color or okay let's make here some hole exit select all the four holes make relation equal choose the smart dimension <coughs> key 5 mm keep this distance 7.65 mm मिलीमीटर सेवन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फाइव मिलीमीटर ओके नाउ वी विल करेक्ट इट सेलेक्ट दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस सर्कल मेक रिलेशन हॉरिजोंटल नाउ हियर ऑल्सो डू द सेम थिंग हॉरिजोंटल नाउ सेलेक्ट बोथ द पॉइंट्स make vertical relation even we need to define some vertical distance 7.65 mm now it's fully defined this sketch go to sheet metal extruded cut keep link to thickness okay this thickness is uh, looks uh, edit let's reduce this thickness 130 okay or uh, 
135 cancel because due to radius is not able to we will change this radius up to 2 millimeter now try this one 130 exit and that's it now this look perfect let's save this part chassis we already created here so chassis 2 now let's start the assembly for chassis so we can directly go go, go from here make drawing from parts uh, make assembly from parts click here so the first part came insert browse chassis now here the both the parts choose met select this face and this face coincident relation select this face and select this face delete don't select age select the face coincident now let's do one thing select this face select this face now you can see the preview okay okay so now this is the simple power supply box or power box chassis for computer i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video if you have any comments just write down below and for this part you can check the description in below you will find the link for this video because i already created this video that's why i'm not going to make again for this one let's save the assembly give any name as i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions just write down below i'll try to answer each and every question here we observe some distance difference uh, okay let's try to correct it go to evaluate choose measure select this wall and this wall H here you will see the distance normal 1.2 millimeter see so we will reduce this one 1.2 millimeter 1.2 open minus 1.2 millimeter save save in assembly now again let's check uh, that's it now it's going to met here perfectly so now this is your cursor box is ready for the assembly or uh, for power supply unit i hope you like it thanks for watching